Zach and I met about five years ago through his sister Ashley. She posted a picture on Instagram and I thought to myself, who is this hottie? And she was disgusted by a thought that I thought- I Had a thing with- Her brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, then I, I tried to text her or email her on uh, Instagram. Instagram. They, you slid into my DMs. I slid into your DMs as the kids would say now. Uh, and we we're like, okay, well, let's meet at uh, Beach Break in Oceanside. So we met there when we were like 17, 16, had a date, and then after that, I just. He never it. called me back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and now we're here. Um, I thought you were. S whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought McKenna was a sweet girl. Um, she's obviously beautiful, but I knew like, at the time I wasn't. I wasn't ready for like a real relationship, but she was. She was like the good girlfriend, got things for the boyfriend. I was doing my own thing. Partying um, a lot. No, but I wasn't ready to be like tied down at 17. Um, but I, I knew I loved her since I met her. Definitely. <laughs> What'd you think of me? I always, I always, we always joked around when we were younger, like, okay, if you're 30 and I'm 29 and we're still not married, we're gonna get married and have a baby. I knew he was the one that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Man, what? Three years after you didn't call you back? Didn't call me back. <laughs> you hit me up and. We went to sushi, right? Oh yeah, we went to sushi, and that was kind of like... We didn't know it was a date, but it was. Um, so we went to sushi, and... I remember her randomly asking me, like, everybody everybody shares, but we were sitting there eating, and she looks at me, and she's like, I don't know how to use chopsticks. <laughs> you're not supposed so to tell them that! So we're sitting at dinner at a sushi restaurant where I asked her to go, and she's like, I don't know how to use chopsticks. So the whole time, she's like using her fingers, all these things. A fork. So, I was so, using a fork. Yeah, a sushi date was when we finally started dating. That was two and a half years ago, ish. I can't remember. I can remember because we were <laughs> laying in bed and we watched a movie and I look over at her and I said, I'm in love with you. And she looked at me like disgusted. Like if you're gonna say it, say it the right way. So I was like, okay, well, I'm in love with you. Um, I don't know, McKenna, when did you first say it? I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know at all? I don't remember. I just remember telling you I love you back that night. Right? I think we only remember because I messed up. Probably. <laughs> you always remember when I mess up. That's true. <laughs> Almost three years ago, Zach and I were hanging out in the Kokorian parking lot and some random teenager walked up to the car and I kind of was like, oh man, he's going to want our money, he's going to ask for money, something's going to happen, and I kind of got scared, and Zach rolled down his window, and he goes, what's up, dude? And the teenager, you know, asked for money, and Zach, you know, asked him what it was for, and he says, I'm drunk, I need to take the bus home, and I don't know how to get home, and Zach just kind of looked at me and looked back at him and said, get in the car. And I'm thinking, what? He is crazy. <laughs> this guy's gonna kill us. And we ended up taking this random teenager 20 minutes away from where we we're hanging out. And that night I knew, man, this is someone I want to marry and you know have a family with. And I didn't tell him that until a couple months well, God ago. Well, you say that. <laughs> he didn't That's know. The first time I, I heard played this. it off like it was no big deal, but. I knew he had a good heart, and that's that's important to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of my favorite um, memories with you, too. I think one of our memories, it was made in the car, too, when we... We, we spent were, a lot of time yeah, in the car. <laughs> before maybe, we were just hanging out in the car a lot. Um, we didn't know what else to do, but I would pick her up, and we would go sit in... Beach. A random parking spot on the beach and just sit there for like two, three hours, whatever, and we just sit there and talk and laugh the whole time. And I miss it because we haven't done it since, but that's when I really fell in love with her. And I was like, like, I 
if I can just sit here and do nothing, just in pure darkness and just talk and laugh with this girl, then I can do, I can do any, anything with, so that's when I really decided that I could spend the rest of my life with her. I want to describe it in three words. What would you describe our proposal? No, you go first. You said I um, It was definitely not plan A. Interesting, but sweet and low key. Like there wasn't, I didn't want anybody following us around with pictures, whatever, the camera. Like I didn't want to bring it. I thought it would be a good idea, but I want to just make it about us. Intimate. My first plan was going on a, no. A hike, but then it started raining. Oh yeah, our first plan was going on a nice romantic hike and then it started raining. And plan B was, okay, we're gonna go hike 10 minutes away from our house where it wasn't raining. And we walked up and, well, we drove up, first of all, because it was super <laughs> cold and she was- It was freezing. She, the camera just was not down to do I anything today. I was having today. a really bad day. So we were up there at the top. It was the top of, what was the mountain? Double Peak. Double Peak in San Marcos. And we just, we got to the top and she was freezing the whole time we were up there. Can we go home? Can I was we go wearing home? a go small home? jacket and you were in a snowboarding jacket. Like, <laughs> But I told her, just calm down, let's go sit over here. And we did. And from there, that actually picked up the ring that morning because it didn't come in until late. And I was just sitting there and unexpected. She's cold, freezing, complaining. and I, I was being really mean. Like, <laughs> I'm never mean. And I was. Whoa. <laughs> I was being a brat. Like I want, I didn't want to be there. I thought this was stupid. I had just had a baby and he wasn't there. You could be. You're mean sometimes. Uh, maybe a oh, just a little bit. But then but. I just randomly got down on one knee and asked her, and she was super sh Shocked. surprised and she loved it. And I didn't say yes at first. I was speechless. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I was like, so are we gonna say anything? And it took a while. Yeah. So. But I said yes. That was the proposal. Yeah. <laughs> Hi babe, we finally did it. We've come so far and now we're sitting next to each other at a reception watching this video. Um, I just wanna say I love you. I'm so excited for our future. Have another baby maybe, five years. Um, I'm excited for a honeymoon and just to spend some quality time, just you and I, laying on the beach, drinking a couple margaritas but I love you so much. You look so handsome, and I'm so excited for our future. Hi, babe. Uh, oh, crap, we're married. But I can't wait. Um, I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Uh, I can't wait to continue to raise Ryder together, to keep Maybe have one or two more. Depends on how this one goes. Um, I love you. You're a gorgeous human inside and out. Um, I wouldn't want to do this with anybody else. You are the love of my life. You're the mother to my son. And I can't wait to see where we go from here. We've gone so far already. Went from the bottom, being broke, working three jobs, you working full time, to me being away and working one job and you just doing everything, but you are a rock star. You raise Ryder how I want you to and you are just the biggest sweetheart and I love you. Give me a kiss. Uh, we just wanna say oh. thank you to all the friends and family that came out from Washington, um, Kentucky, Arizona, Arizona wherever, wherever, wherever coming, you coming, are coming oh. from. We just want to say thank you and we appreciate it. Um, we couldn't have done anything that we're doing right now without you guys, our family. Um, we love every single one of you and I want to have fun, so let's have some fun. Let's party. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. Well, Can you edit that out? <laughs> Zach! Are you my first sailor? I don't know. When did you? <laughs> See the swan over there? How, what, what was the question? How did you know?